As we all know, web design is a strange and archaic craft, only fully understood by an obscure group of chaste monks that perform their deck rituals but once every full moon. Oh, and I guess it's also understood by anybody else who takes the time to learn some HTML. Last year, we looked at the all-in-one conspiracy theory website, Nibiropedia, although it's currently known as LetTheTruthBeKnown.com, and the year before that, we observed the magnificent scientific endeavor that is TimeCube. For this year's look into the realm of conspiracy theory and fringe science, we here at In a Handful of Minutes have hip-waded through the swamps of the internet, dampening our loins with faulty logic and uncomfortable font color choices in order to bring you this review of Scalar Wars, the brave new world of scalar electromagnetics. In a nutshell, scalar electromagnetics is the latest in a long series of perpetual motion notions. Perpetual motion being an almost universally agreed upon impossibility due to any version of it directly conflicting with at least one of the first two laws of thermodynamics. Simply put, you can't produce an infinite amount of energy for an infinite amount of time, so reviewing the theory of scalar electromagnetics would be about as useful as reviewing the pros and cons of laminating your genitals. But the website, link in the info box, is an entirely different story. That can be a potentially magnificent source of entertainment. So first off, let's work through my crazy website checklist. Ridiculously long, narrow pages? Check. Excessive use of bold and colored text for emphasis? Check. Borderline sarcastic use of quotation marks to convey the intellectual superiority of the author over mainstream society? Check. Attempt to get some science up in our faces, all the while maintaining the tone of a 12-year-old boy who just discovered a topless woman tanning in his next-door neighbor's backyard? Check. Claiming that what he's selling can provide infinite energy, cure all diseases, be used as an incredible weapon, and control the minds of millions? Check, 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 check. Though, I guess I can't get too uppity about any of this, given the emails I have a habit of sending. Tesla Howitzers, the KGB leasing scalar death weapons to the Yakuza. How to make a storm on the sun, a secret, unnamed, friendly little nation. This website has more interesting story elements and useful knowledge than the love child of Bill Nye and Lost. Trust me, while mind rippers might be a danger, getting bored to death while reading about scalar wars isn't. Like any good, long-running television series with a lot of plot threads going on, it can be kind of fun to look at scalar wars for inconsistencies and, I guess we could call them, plot holes. For example, why is it that Ted Beard and the guy behind the whole thing, who is clearly terrified of secret governments abusing scalar electromagnetics for weapon purposes and other such terrible things such as mind control, why would that man then go and register as a patent his electromagnetic perpetual motion machine with the government? It kind of makes about as much sense as the time that I foolishly gave hypnotic pornography to the monsters under my bed, which frankly helped them out a lot in luring me into their gaping maws. So in the end, I say that clearly scalar electromagnetics is a bubbling boiling barrel of bullshit into which you should invest not one thin dime. But, as I said earlier, Scalar Wars the website is another matter entirely. It's a great source of entertainment that is a lot more readable than timecube.com or letthetruthbeknown.com. But by that same merit, it's also a smidgen less hilariously insane. In essence, Tom Bearden is like the Ayn Rand to Time Cube's Glenn Beck. Oh dear! Oliver, what are you doing? We can't have political overtones in this show. It'll lower our appeal to at least three key demographics. Come on, man. How are we ever going to afford those solid gold child laborers? Tesla howitzers. Howitzers. Puberty. So in the end, I would definitely say that scalar electromagnetics is a bubbling, boiling barrel of bullshit and you shouldn't invest 